How's it going everybody? I am Coach Ray. Thank you for joining me for today's stick mobility class. So for today's class, I have two long sticks. This is all we're gonna need for today in terms of what sticks to use. I have a squat rack, has a wall or door frame or whatever you have available to you. And I also have a bench as well. And so for some of today's drills, we're gonna go through a full body warm up. We're gonna get the spine warmed up, the hips, the feet, the shoulders and everything warmed up. But today's main focus is actually gonna be some core training. So we're gonna work in some rotational drills, some core stabilization, and get into some different positions to start to strengthen different aspects of the core here, okay? And then we're gonna go into a cool down, of course, after. And so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my two long sticks here, okay? And we're gonna start on the feet and ankles, okay? So we're gonna take a horse stance, okay? I'm gonna go a little wider than shorter width, I wanna have my toes pointed forward. I wanna have the sticks angled a couple inches in front of the line of my toes here. And so I'll actually go from the side a little bit here so you can get a good profile. And what I wanna do from here, I wanna have my hands stacked at roughly about chest height, okay? And I wanna be in a horse stance, pelvis stacked under the spine. First thing I'm gonna do from here, I'm only using the sticks for balance. I'm gonna come up, bring my heels up as high as I can keeping all five toes on the floor, around the balls of my feet. I'm gonna bring both heels back down. Good. The level of my hips don't change here. I'm gonna come back up. I just wanna make sure that my knees are actually tracking forward, right? And I'm getting that stability work on the ankles and feet. Back down. Excellent. Come up. Good, back down, good, up, back down, excellent, up, back down, good, let's go one more time here, up, and back down slow and under control here. Okay, good. So, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna face forward here. And what I wanna do, I wanna have my feet a little bit closer for these particular drills, okay? This is just to make sure that my feet are mostly under my hips, so I have a little bit more uh, stability here. So I'm gonna have the sticks, again, right in front of my toes here, about, a, about six inches. Hands are still at the same height. I'm gonna get down into that horse stance a little bit here, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring both heels up, okay? Then I'm gonna shift my right heel out. Good, and come back to neutral. Then I'm gonna shift my left heel out. So I should be on a pinky toe with my left heel, come back to neutral. Then my right heel goes out again. Good, back to neutral. Left heel goes out. Back to neutral. Good, right heel goes out. Back to neutral. Good, left heel goes out. Back to neutral. Let's go one more each way. Right heel goes out. Back to neutral. Left heel goes out. Back to neutral and down. Excellent, good. Now we're gonna switch. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna laterally shift that heel inside now here, okay? So same position, draw my hips down, get into a good, uh, good knee bend here, okay? Pelvis stacked under the spine, gonna bring both heels up, okay? I wanna bring my right heel in, so I should be on a big toe. I'm gonna bring it back to neutral here, left heel in, back to neutral, okay? Right heel in, back to neutral, left heel in, back to neutral, Right heel in, back to neutral, left heel in, back to neutral, right heel in, one more time, back to neutral, left heel in, and back to neutral, back down, and excellent. Okay, so that was kind of a little bit of a quick warm up for the feet and ankles here. And so now we're gonna do, I'm gonna get into some double monkey hang. We're gonna add in some rotations here. Typically, I like to have this at the end, but for today, I wanna actually have this at the beginning. And so, 
What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place my right foot forward here. Okay, I'm gonna turn from the side. Place my right foot forward, left foot is back. Okay, I'm gonna ball that foot. I wanna make sure that the sticks, if I keep my right leg straight, are in line with my right knee here. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab up toward the top of the sticks. Okay, then from here, I'm gonna drop that back knee down. My right knee tracks forward. We're gonna hang, okay? I wanna let my shoulder blades relax here. Okay, I'm not trying to pull them down. I'm not trying to get that activation going. Stretching out those lateral lines, those lats, right? Get into a good overhead position here. Good, now we're gonna come out. And we're gonna switch sides. Okay, we're gonna go back and forth between switching sides here. Okay. Left foot forward, grab up top, okay. Drop that right knee down. I relax our shoulder blades for that right hip. Stretch out a bit here, okay. Try to keep your pelvis tucked forward a bit. In three, two, one, back up. Now we're gonna switch sides. So now, this time we're gonna add in some rotations, okay? Now, how's it going through these rotations? I want you to activate the shoulder blades as we're down at the bottom here. So I'm gonna get set in position, okay? I'm gonna drop that back knee down. Now from here, I'm gonna activate the shoulder blades by driving six into the ground about 10 to 15%. Then I'm gonna to start to rotate back and forth. But what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna pause, right? I'm gonna keep rotating back and forth, trying to keep my hips square, facing forward the entire time flossing left to right, okay? Keeping that activation in the scapula and the shoulder blades. So it's three, let's go two more each side. Four, four, one more time, five, and five. Good, come up, and now we're gonna switch. So the good thing about this here is we're also working on the grip, right? So a lot of people miss a lot of grip strength, okay? And so this is a really good drill to kind of work on that. So from here, drop that right knee down. Good. I'm gonna drive the six and so I'm gonna to rotate to the right and left. Like I said, this is a flow here. One, two, Uh, three, let's go two more, four, and five. Good, back up. Excellent, okay? So we have allowed to get, so we've got a lot of, a little bit of T-spine rotation, getting the shoulder blades warmed up, working on that grip, and getting the hips stretched out a little bit there, right? So now we're gonna go through some hip activation. We're gonna work on internal external rotation. And so I'm gonna have, both feet together, facing forward. What I'm gonna do here, the sticks are going to be angled in towards me. So, if I give you a side profile here, okay? The sticks are angled in towards my toes here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do from here, I'll go a little bit more of a profile like so. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna have my hands right about where my forehead is, okay? Or maybe a little bit above. And so what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna first drop the sticks down, about 15 to 20% tension, nothing too significant. This is just a warm up here. And I'm gonna bring my right knee up, keep it in the middle, I'm gonna externally rotate, and I'm gonna internally rotate here, externally rotate, internally rotate, we're just tapping a stick, external, internal, external, internal, back to center, and down. Good. Now we're gonna switch legs, okay? So same thing, shoulder blades down, okay? Don't let them come up to your ears. Drop six into the floor, 15 to 20% tension, okay? We're gonna bring that left knee up, we're gonna externally rotate, internal, external, internal, external, internal, one more, external, and internal. Back to center, 
and down. Okay, so now we're going to add in something a little different here. We're going to add in the knee extension after internally and externally rotating. Okay, so we're going to warm up that you know, anterior tissues on the leg here. Okay, so from here, I'm going to bring my hands a little bit lower, right? Get a little bit more activation in that entire front line. And so I'm going to have feet together, drive both sticks down about 20 to 25 percent, so it's a little bit more tension. I'm going to bring my right knee up, keep it at hip level or 90 degrees, externally rotate, then internally rotate, and then extend. Back in, externally rotate, internally rotate, and then extend. Let's go one more time, externally rotate, internally rotate, and then extend. Back in and down. Good. Okay, now we're going to do the other leg. So arms straight, shoulders down, drive both sticks into the floor, 20 to 25%. Bring that left knee up, externally rotate, internally rotate, extend. Good. External rotation, internal rotation, extend. One more time. External rotation, internal rotation, and extend. Back in and down. Excellent. Good. Okay. So now I'm going to place one stick down. Okay. And so now we're going to get into a little bit of bow and arrow. What we're going to do here is we're going to kind of move it in and out in this range here. Okay. So I'm going to have both feet under my hips, toes are facing forward. I'm going to start with the stick on my right side here. Okay, keep it in line with the midfoot. I'm going to have my hand right where the sticker is. Okay, place my left hand up over top, thumb facing down toward the floor. What I'm going to do from here, I'm going to drive my hips away from the stick. I'm going to extend. I'm going to bring the stick forward, still keeping that flex in the stick. But then I'm going to bring it right back out to the side, keeping your hips exactly where they are. Bring the stick back in front. Excellent. Bring it back out to the side. Good. Back in front. Back out to the side. Good. Now ease off. Let's go ahead and switch sides here, okay? So all we're doing here is we're kind of flossing in and out of stretching out the, the lats, opening up that lateral line here, okay? Toes forward, the stick's about 10 to 12 inches from midfoot, okay? Right hand up, over the top, thumb facing down through the floor. Drive your hips away from the stick first, and extend both hands out. Hold, bring the stick in front. Good, keep those hips bumped out to the right. Bring the stick back up, out. Good, bring it back out in front. Excellent. We're going to stick back out to the side. Good. One more time. We're going to stick in front. Bring it back out to the side. Come on, ease off. And excellent. Okay. So now we're going to get into a little bit of kayaking. Okay. I tend to like to stick with this as a warm up. So, hands are out. Reaching out as far as you possibly or comfortably can, right? I'm going to get into this horse stance here, okay? About shoulder width, maybe a little wider, feet are pointed forward, hips are dropped down, okay? Start with my left hand up top, okay? Now I'm going to bring that left hand through, right hand comes back, up and over, and then bring that right hand through. Left shoulder comes back, up and over, trying to get the rib cage to open up a bit and also get that shoulder blade to glide along your rib cage, right? Good. Keep it going, keep your speed matching mine, okay? Good. Keep going. And try to keep both arms straight, okay? Good. 
Good. Now we're in reverse direction. We go backwards, so left shoulder comes back up and over and through. The right shoulder comes up, pull them back. Good. You want to try to reach as much as you possibly can, okay? All right, try not to make the movement super short. If you have the ability to really reach, really try to open up those shoulders, then do so, right? Try to get as much range as possible without any pain or discomfort. A few more seconds here. Three, two, one, and excellent. Good. Okay, so that concludes some of uh, today's warm-ups. And so now we're gonna get into the strength phase. So like I said, we're gonna do a lot of core drills. So we're gonna start with doing some core drills on our feet. And so I'm gonna take the both six, okay? So we're gonna start with the standing plank and then we're gonna get in different positions and add tension in rotated positions here, okay? Okay, so what I want to do here, I want to have my feet under my hips, toes are pointed forward, okay? I want to have the sticks angled in, so from here, sticks are angled in a couple inches in front of my toes here. I really want it to drive in that natural arm line. I'm going to have my hands starting, because we're going to move them up, at shoulder height, okay? So what I want to do from here, I want to squeeze my glutes, okay? And I want to drop my rib cage down to my hips. And from here, I'm gonna drive the sticks into the ground with about 50% tension. Hold. In three, two, one, and ease off. Excellent. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the hand up and we're gonna increase that tension. So where my hands were here, now I'm gonna move it to where the bottom of my hands were where the where my thumbs were. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna increase tension this time, okay? Let's go to about 65%. So squeeze the glutes, okay? Drop the rib cage down to the hips and drive the six into the ground. Hold, keep those shoulders down. Hold. Three, two, one, ease off. Good. Okay, now we're gonna bring the hands up again, another fist height, okay? So as we get higher on the sticks, we're lengthening that lever, making it a lot more challenging on the core here, okay? So, same thing, arms straight, shoulders down, squeeze the glutes, rib cage down to the hips. Let's go 80% and drive the sticks into the ground. Hold, three, two, one, ease off. Excellent, okay. One last time, let's grip at the top of the sticks here if you can, okay? So same position, we're gonna go pretty close to max. We wanna go about 95% here. We're only gonna hold for five seconds, okay? So same position, squeeze the glutes. So keep the shoulders down, okay? Rib cage to the hips, arms straight, and drive, 90%, five, four, three, two, one, and ease off. Good, so we'll kind of start to get into the serratus interior there a little bit, have we start to come up, right? So the muscles right around the ribcage a little bit here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a split stance, okay? Now, the distance is not that great, it's only about this much, but I do wanna make sure I'm on the back, on a ball and toes of my back foot, back leg here. So I'm gonna start with my left leg forward, okay? I wanna keep this hip facing forward. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have the right stick at 12 o'clock or effectively in front of my left foot or left big toe to be specific. And this left stick is gonna be roughly about 10 o'clock, okay? So I'm gonna go with the clock system here. What I wanna do from here, keeping the hips facing forward, keep my torso facing forward, I'm gonna drive both sticks into the ground. Hands at shoulder height, okay? It'll start at 50%. So from here, drop the hip knees down a little bit and drive the sticks into the ground. You should feel your obliques and your lats turn on, 
a lot, right? So we're in a little bit of a rotated position, but also in a split position here. Hold, three, two, one, and he's off. Good, let's go 75% here, okay? Arms straight, shoulders down, hips and torso facing forward, and drive those sixes to the ground, 75%. Hold. In three, two, one, ease off. Excellent, okay? Let's go 85% here, okay? Same position. Arms are straight, shoulders down, hips facing forward, drive those sixes to the ground, 85% tension. Three. Three, two, one, ease off. Excellent, now we're gonna switch sides. So now I'm gonna bring my right foot forward, okay? Left stick is at 12 o'clock or right in front of my right foot. Right stick is at about two o'clock here, okay? So, same position. You remember, you wanna keep that back hip facing forward. You don't want it to rotate out, all right? Or rotate even inwards. So, hips facing forward, arms straight, shoulders down, and drive those sixes to the ground, 50%. Three, two, one, and ease off. Good, okay. We're gonna go two more here. Let's go 75%. Arms straight, and drive those sixes to the ground. Three, two, one, and ease off. Excellent. Okay, let's go one more time here. All right, arms straight. And drive six to the ground, 85% tension. And three, two, one, and ease off. And excellent, good, right? So we kind of got everything warmed up. The interior, we got the obliques warmed up as well. And so now we're gonna add in a little bit of rotation here, okay? And so what I wanna do, I'm gonna move this stick over here. We're only gonna need one stick for this, okay? Now, if you have a door frame, that'd be perfect for this to use, to use for this. And so what I wanna do, I'm gonna have my left foot forward and right foot is gonna be back, okay? So I wanna go with a little bit of a wide base here. Now, in terms of where the stick is angled, the stick is kind of angled going backwards a bit, okay? And so what I'm gonna do, my left hand is right by where my left hip is, okay? And my right hand is at about 90 degrees here, okay? Now I'm flat on both legs here, gonna get a slight knee bend. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna act as if I'm trying to chop diagonally, okay? So kind of like a wood chop. So from here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of rotate my body into the stick, trying to get it to come diagonally. Hold, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. And so now I'm gonna step back a little bit more, so now my right hand is extended out. It's gonna make it a little bit harder here. So again, that motion is coming down like so, okay? So from here, now I'm gonna be on the ball and toes of my back foot here. Get a little bit more power generation and rotation from the hips, okay? So arms are straight, and I'm gonna create that tension, create that bow. Should be about 75% tension. Three, two, one, and ease off. So you're gonna feel that oblique on that right side turn on a little bit here, but it may be a little different for you, right? But you are making sure that right glute is active as well. You have to, okay? Arms straight, 75% tension, and I wanna create that bow on the stick. Hold, three, two, 
one and ease off. Excellent, let's go one more time here. Okay, and also make sure you rotate the stick so you're not bowing it all in one direction here. Okay, arm straight, drop my knees down a little bit, squeeze the right glute and create that bow effect, 75%. Hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Excellent, good. Now we're gonna go with the opposite side. So, we're gonna turn around here. Again, remember that stick is kind of angled back a bit, right? I'm gonna start, outside leg is forward, inside leg is back, so my right leg is forward here. Okay. Right hand is right where my right hip is, or front of my right hip. Left arm is bent at about 90 degrees. Okay. So same thing. And also my inside hand is facing upwards towards the ceiling. So from here, okay. Both feet are flat, and I'm gonna create that bow. Hold. Three, two, one, ease off. Good, now I'm gonna step back a little bit just to make sure that both arms are extended. Okay. So the same thing, I'm on a ball and toes with my back foot here. Okay, both arms are straight and I'm gonna squeeze that left glute, left hip forward. And drive, create that bow effect on the stick here, right? So those left obliques activate, right? 75% tension. Hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Excellent. Okay, let's go two more. Arms straight, drop those knees down, squeeze that left glute, and drive. Hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Excellent. One last time. Okay. Arms straight. Drop those knees down, squeeze that left glute, and create that bow on the stick. Push that left shoulder forward. Pull up that right a bit. Hold. In three, two, one, ease off. Excellent, okay. And so now we're gonna go to the ground to do another core drill. So you're probably familiar with dead bugs. So we're gonna do a little bit of a variation for that, okay? So again, I'm gonna use the rack as if it's a wall or a door frame, right? What we're gonna do from here, I'm gonna I'm going to create some tension driving the stick into the wall here. And so it's going to create some lateral tension. So the leg that's on the inside closest to the wall, that's the leg that's actively moving here. Okay. So the stick is effectively right over my chest. Okay. Hands are about roughly, roughly about shoulder width apart. Okay. Whatever's most comfortable. What I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna push the stick into the wall, maybe about 30 to 40% tension, right? Just trying to create some of that lateral tension. I'm gonna bring both knees up. I wanna make sure my lower back is flat to the floor, ankles dorsiflexed. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend, the right hip out, gonna hold. Still driving the stick into the wall. Try to keep yourself from rotating over, three, Two, one, bring that right knee back up. So driving the stick into the wall. Hold. Now extend again. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back up. One last time. So drive a stick into the wall, extend that right hip out. Hold. Three, 
three, two, one. Bring it right here back up and relax. Excellent. So now we're gonna switch sides. Okay. So to get into that same position, okay? Arms are straight. Try to try, keep your elbows locked out to the best of your ability, okay? So from here, first thing, put your driver stick into the wall. Bring both knees up. Hold. Extend that left hip out. Three, two, one. Bring it back up. Still driving the stick into the wall here. Extend that left hip out. Keep those ribs to the hips, right? Three, two, one, back up. Keep driving the stick into the wall. Don't lose that tension, 30, 40%. Extend that left hip out. Hold. Three, two, one, and back up, and ease off. Excellent, good. Okay, so that concludes the core drills for today. Okay, so the strength training phase. So it's kind of worked at a few different drills, getting a little bit of different angles and a little bit of different positions, right? And so now we're gonna get on to some stretching. Okay, some deep fascial stretching. And so, I'm gonna use the bench or chair, whatever I have available to you, right? And so, we're gonna use this has to get a, get a hamstring stretch, we're gonna do a standing hamstring stretch here. And so typically with some of our stretches, we go here, but I'm actually gonna have my foot elevated on the bench, like so, okay? Now what I wanna do from here, the sticks are gonna be angled or placed basically right by where my right knee is, so my right foot is up on a bench, Okay, and so what we're gonna do, gripping the sticks at about roughly uh, nose to chin height. What I'm gonna do first, keep my left leg straight or slight bend. I'm gonna drive my right heel into the, uh, to the bench really lightly, about 15 to 20%. What I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna start to hinge forward, keep my ankle dorsiflex. I'm gonna try to keep as neutral of a spine as I possibly can. If I start to round, just going a little bit too far, right? Just come back up a little bit. Hold. Make sure you breathe. In three, two, one. You're gonna come back up. Ease off that tension. Excellent. Okay. We're gonna go two more. This time we're gonna add in some rotations. Okay. So toes are up. Equal dorsiflex. Drive that heel into the bench, about 15, 20% tension. Now I'm gonna to start to hinge forward. We can go a little further, we can go a little further, okay? Now I'm gonna to start to rotate. So I'm gonna rotate my toes away from my belly button or away from my middle line, midline. Good, now I'm gonna rotate my hip internally or towards my belly button, towards my midline. Good, now I'm gonna externally rotate again. Rotate out. Good, now rotate in. So driving that heel into the floor. Now back up to neutral and ease off. Good, we're gonna go one more time here, okay? Same thing, from here, toes are up. Drive the heel into the bench, okay? Drive the sticks forward, get that hinge going, okay? Now from here, start to rotate, so Externally rotate, rotate out. Good, now internally rotate. Rotate in, start to get those different parts of the hamstring. Rotate out. 
Good, rotate in. Back to center. And up. And ease off. Good. Now we're going to switch sides, okay? So now we're going to do from here. We're going to do it through those same steps. We want to keep this ankle dorsiflex, okay? So drive that left heel into the bench, okay? Now from here, we're going to hinge forward. Now one hamstring is probably going to feel tighter than the other. Okay, that's normal. This kind of shows, right, what we, what, what we need to work on. So if one hamstring is tighter than the other, this is going to be the one you need to work on here, okay? So from here, three, two, one, back up. Ease off. Okay, good. We're going to do two more here. So drive the heel to the uh, to the bench. 15, 20%. Hinge forward. Good. Rotate the hip outwards or externally. Good. Now internal rotation. Good. External rotation. Breathe. Internal rotation. Good, back up, and come out, ease off, excellent, good, okay, let's go one more time, arm straight, drive the left heel into the uh, bench, ankle dorsiflex, drive forward, drive those sticks forward, right, get a good hinge, externally rotate, internally rotate, Externally rotate, rotate outwards. Internally rotate. Back to center and come out, ease off and relax. Awesome. So now I'm gonna put one stick down. Okay, we're gonna get into some slap shot here. So I'm gonna place the stick behind my big back Going to take a wide stance as wide as is comfortable for you, right? Everybody's going to have different uh, mobility, so go whatever's comfortable. I'm going to have my toes angled out a little bit, okay? What I'm going to do from here, I'm going to start to drive my hips back, and I'm actually going to have you hold this position for about 15 to 20 seconds, just trying to give the hamstrings a little stretched out here, okay? So you want to push the hips back. You're slightly bending the knees, but not too much. Good, I'm gonna rotate the right end of the stick towards the floor in front of me. Try to get into your midline if you can, right? If you can't, that's totally fine too. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the stick apart, get that upper back activation. I'm gonna drive my hips back and to the right. Try to straighten out that left leg. Gonna come back up to neutral. Ease off that tension. Gonna come back to the center. Now I'm going to rotate that left end of the stick toward the floor, place it down, pull the stick apart, okay, drive my hips back and to the left, doing a Cossack squat, all right, hold, still pulling the stick apart, good, three, two, one, back to center, excellent, ease off, back to the center. So now I'm going to try to get that right end of the stick further across my midline here. Okay, so now rotate that right in further across the midline if you possibly can. Okay, I'm gonna pull the stick apart, get a little bit more rotation. I'm gonna drive my hips back to the right. So pulling the stick apart. Three, two, one. Back to center. Ease off that tension. Bring it back to neutral. Now we're going to do the other side. We're going to rotate that left end of the stick as far across as I possibly can. Pull the stick apart. Okay. Lunge to the left. Drive those hips back. Hold. Three, two, one. Back up. Ease off that tension. Come out back to neutral. And stand up. Excellent. 
we're not going to change our foot position. So now we're going to get a little bit of ninja flow. Okay, a little bit of a cool down here, right? So I'm going to have the stick placed on the inside of my right uh, ball, of my right foot here. Okay. Now my hand is at about forehead height or eye height. And so what I'm going to do from here, stick is going to be out. Okay. Arm straight. What I want to do from here, I'm going to lightly drive that stick into the floor, right? About 25%. Now what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna to start to hinge back and I'm gonna bring the stick towards my torso, right? But I'm not bringing it up overhead, I'm bringing it to the side. Get a chest stretch, right? Open up that rib cage, left hand hangs down, okay? Good. I'm gonna reach across with my left hand, thumb facing down towards the floor. I'm gonna pull the stick apart and I'm really gonna drive with that left hand here I'm going to lunge to the left, get more rotation, and three, two, one, come back up, let go with the left hand, and come out of it. Excellent. I'm going to switch over to the other side here, okay, six on his side of my left foot, okay, left hand is up at the same height. I'm going to drive stick down, 25% tension, nothing too significant, okay? Now I'm going to do from here, I'm going to drive those hips back, remember pull the stick in towards your torso, get that chest stretch, okay? Hold here, left arm is just hanging, right? Now I'm going to reach across with my right hand, thumb facing down towards the floor, I'm going to pull the stick apart, really drive that right hand towards the floor. I'm going to lunge to my right. Again, driving those hips back. Hold. In three, two, one. Back to the center. Let go of the right hand. And come out of it slowly. Good. Now I'm going to wiggle the feet in. Okay, good. Now for one last thing, we're just gonna open up the T-spine. Gonna kinda try to lengthen it a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna turn to the side. Okay, so you get a side profile. And I'm gonna have my feet roughly about shoulder width apart, hips are shoulder width apart, toes are facing forward. I'm gonna have the stick relatively far, about a foot and a half from the line of my toes here. I'm gonna place both hands on the stick, roughly about chin to shoulder height here okay now what i want to do from here i'm going to drive and hinge my hips back and i'm going to extend my hands out so from here i'm going to lightly press the stick into the ground 15 percent right get some activation and then i'm going to extend my hands out drive my hips back i'm going to push my head through i'm going to try to extend my chest out Really try to reach with those arms. I'm gonna come back up. Slowly. Good. I'm gonna switch hands here. Okay. So I'll do that same thing again. I'm gonna lightly push the stick into the floor. Okay. I'm gonna drive my hips back and I'm gonna extend my hands out. Really try to open up that T spine here. Hold, three, two, one, back up. Good, knees off, and relax. So, that concludes today's class. Thank you for tuning in today. Be sure to check out the rest of our channel for other YouTube videos and workouts. Thank you.